Yep. The bold testicle, the naked foreskin head of an arse face, the pubic area of the nether regions of despair. Rovers appoint this ball sack to replace future England manager Sam Allardyce, and then the moronic madness ensued. Ronaldinho, Beckham and the like were talked about by this hapless chicken turd noobs and their manager Steve, nostril licking, bum chomping, face slap, no nothing, keen. We were entertained with money sapping has the Bradley Orrs, the Danny I Love Money Murphys, the Leon I Sell My Soul to the nearest chicken lover best, and the biggest influx of Portuguese imports the English game has ever seen. This was the start of the downfall for Rovers. The fall from grace we all feared, and credit must go to the dickheaded wonder, the masturbating munchbag of testicles. Stephen, I am better than Fergie Keen. But what if? Wait, I, I can't do this. But I must. What if this chopper of a disgrace was to return to manage Rovers once again? I just feel sick just talking about it. But what if? Would he guide Rovers to the championship or to League Two? Let's check out this horror story out. Hello and welcome back to another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers Manager Experiment. Uh, in each one of these experiments, we recreate the 2017-2018-7, but with a twist. We try and bring back each one of the Blackburn Rovers managers from their recent past. And in this one, it's the one you've all been waiting for. It's Stephen Keane. Oh my goodness. That's right. So let's bring him up and I'll show you what I'm on about. So here are Blackburn Rovers in League One uh, with the man, the testicle, the hairy brain. That's right, Steve Keane. So let's let's make this a little bit more uh, easy to take. And uh, we're going to give him a nickname because I can't stand to see that. It will make me sick. So from here on in, Steve Keane will be known as the bull testicle. So, uh, yeah, that's him. This is his stats. Uh, reputation is woeful um and he is the manager of blackburn rovers and it is the same blackburn rovers uh team that we've been using throughout this experiment no no changes whatsoever um let's have a quick um look at the value uh, most expensive player bradley dax 7.5 million charlie mulgrew is there in second 4.7 million daryl Lenhan's third 4.1 million and then we have a whole bunch of players including some loanies and all that kind of good stuff Corey evans is wanted um, and he's wanted by Fulham in the championship. Anyway, so this is uh, this is the Blackburn Rovers that the Bolt Testicle will be managing throughout the season. So we're going to fast forward to the end of the season, see how he's done, see if he can get Blackburn Rovers promoted at the first attempt, or will he, or will he do the opposite and actually get us relegated into League Two? So let's fast forward and see what the old Bolt T has done for Rovers this season. So here we are, folks, at the end of the season, 31st of May 2018. So let's go and see how Blackburn Rovers have fared this season. So there you have it, folks. A quick look. And as you can notice at the top left-hand side of the screen, third place in Sky Bet League 1. We'll take a look at the table in just a second. But there is a bigger bit of news, positive bit of news in my eyes. We have a new manager in David Adams. Here he is. He's actually on eight grand a week. Um, where did he come from? Where did he come from? Overview. Not too sure. Uh, milestones. Looks like he was uh, brought on as a coach at Middlesbrough back in 2017, 2018. This brought over as head coach um, in January. So we'll take a look at the managerial uh, merry-go-round in just a second. Where are we? Head coaches. So the ball testicle was sacked after only 180 games in charge. David Dunn took over for, for just a couple of weeks. And then David Adams was brought in. Uh, for the rest of the season. So we'll take a look a little bit at the bold T. Here he is. The bold hairy testicle. There he is. The bold hairy testicle. I don't, I don't care. He's a moron. Can't stand him. Cannot stand the, 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 the thing. The testicle. The, the scrotum. So let's take a look at Rovers and where they finished. So uh, looks like Oxford reigned supreme. Fleetwood were in second. And Rovers finished third. Um... Wigan finished seventh, so uh, yeah. So a little look at this league table. So obviously it was around about January when he got sacked. So uh, probably must have been here. Around about here he must have got sacked. Uh, we were ninth in the table, but we got got a little bit worse for Rovers finishing tenth before we steadied ship and shot up the table with David Adams in charge. So yeah, not too good. But let's go and have a look at the Rovers side. Uh, see what transfers were brought in. 
Uh, transfer history. Okay. So only the one player coming in, Victor NHB. Again, I've seen that a couple of times. Uh, scoring 13 goals, though, this season. So that's a good return for him in all competitions. Um, value's now 6 million. As for players going out, Paul Caddis was sold. I think that was actually a uh, Derek Adams transfer. As for the other players, just a lot of loanies leaving the club. Again, by uh, more likely to be by Keane. So no major no major shockers there. So let's take a look at the, uh, the, the statistics now. Change this a little bit. Uh, selection. David Raya had uh, the most appearances with 55. Then came Elliot Bennett with 52. Uh, starts two off the bench. Derek Williams, 47. Uh, Naimbi also had 43. And, right, and Bradley Dak wraps up with 42 appearances as four goals for the season. Uh, top of the pops, Bradley Dak with 12 goals is joined there by Victor and HB. Adam Armstrong got 11 goals. Anderson got 7 and Elliot Bennett got 7. Not bad for him. As for assists, a strange one this one. Corey Evans with 12 assists. Bradley Dak had 8. Elliot Bennett had 6. Danny Graham had 6. Harry Chapman had 5. Best player of the season, Corey Evans. Surprise, surprise. Elliot Bennett uh, in 2nd place. Derek Williams in 3rd. Uh, and HB in 4th. And Charlie Mulgrew in 5th. So let's go take a look at how that fares for the top goal scorers in the league. David Ball for Rotherham, 28 years old. He got 19 goals for the season. Colton Morris for Shrewsbury got 17. Kiernan Davies for Oxford as they got promoted as champions got 17 goals. Charlie Watt got 16. And Ewan Doyle got 16 goals. James Hansen in there with Barry. Uh, he, got, uh, he also got 15 goals. So that's not too bad return. Uh, we're going to try and find the assist now. Ben Pringle tops pops with 14. Ultzheimer's in there with 13. Jay Da Silva's in third place with 11. Richie Towles joining him in 11. James Coppicher and Corey Evans, amongst others, with 10 assists for the season. Let's take a look now at the uh, players of the season. It looks like a uh, Wigan player, Reese James, tops pops with 7.27 average rating. Kian Bolger is in second with 7.23. That man, Josh Timmon, is in there in third place, 7.20. David Buchanan is also in fourth place with 7.20. And Andy Boyle for North uh, for Doncaster wraps up the top five, 7.15. Uh, Corey Evans is in eighth place, just behind Nick Powell. No real sight of Bradley Dack in the top 20, so not really good season for him. Under the joint mannership, well, the managerial ship of the testicle and also David Adams. So let's go now back and look at the league if we can. There we go. So Oxford uh, came up top. So let's take a look at the around the ground or around the other leagues. I'm going the wrong way. And start with the Premier League. Manchester United became champions, finishing uh, on goal difference. Six goals better off than their Manchester neighbours, Manchester City. So they are Premier League champions. Uh, Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal wrap up the top four. As for the bottom, West Brom, West Ham and Crystal Palace are doomed. And uh, those six-fingered banjo players, uh, Burnley, finish in ninth place. As for the Skybet Championship, looks like Leeds became champions. Wolves were second and Cardiff snuck through the back door of the playoffs. As for the bottom, Forrest, Burton and Barnsley will be playing League One football next season. Speaking of League One, we did have a quick look at that. But as for the bottom end, it uh, looks like Bristol Rovers, Rochdale and Gillingham will be joining Plymouth in uh, the League Two football next season. P uh, Shrewsbury got through on the playoffs. As for League Two, let's take a look now. And uh, Luton topped the Pops with 87 uh, points. Uh, Lincoln and Swindon joined them on 81. And Yeovil are coming back up to the uh, 30 of English football via the playoffs. Morecambe and Grimsby are relegated to National Football League. So let's just back it up one hair and take a look at the points tally for Rovers here. Here we are with 46 uh, games, 21 wins, 12 draws, 13 losses, and a goal difference of 11 with 75 points. Now, let me just bring up the league table here. Uh, with the rest of the managers. So despite the football statistics, we're going to put the word sacked here at the bottom of the table. And uh, despite his, uh, despite Rovers' tally of 75 points, which would have put him above Paul Lambert, he's now a rock bottom of the table because it's a Steve Keane job. It's not a David Adams job. It's a Steve Keane job, and he got himself sacked. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke. What a testicle this guy is. And I'm glad he is banished from the English game. And whoever, if somebody makes the stupid appointment of hiring him again... Oh my goodness! See, they're gonna let themselves in for some some abuse, some some hellfire will come his way. So yeah, the the less said about this, the bold testicle, the better. And hopefully, I won't have to deal with him anymore anytime soon. But anyway, next time in this uh, experiment, we'll be going down the road of Sam Allardyce. So stick around for that bad boy.